hey, so we have a, a problem of uh, um, dealing with penguins. So if you like penguins, you might enjoy this problem. Um, and if you enjoy penguins and physics, you'll enjoy double the amount. So we have, so it says, okay, anyways, so we have a loaded penguin sled weighing 80 newtons rests on a plane inclined at 20 degrees to the horizontal. So between the sled and the plane, the coefficient of static friction is 0.21 and the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.17. So what it's asking is what is the minimum magnitude of the force F parallel to the plane, so this force F, that will prevent the sled from slipping down the plane. That's our A. So let's try to let's try to solve this problem. Well before we do that, let me let me draw a free body diagram like always so we have we have our little sled here and we have we have a force that acts this way downward and this is gonna equal to mg cosine I'm sure you've seen this number you've seen this a lot so this is mg cosine 20 and we have another one that's acting this way and and this is gonna be mg well mg i'm gonna i need some space so this is one this one's gonna be mg sine sine of 20. and then we have and since the force is this going this way we have our frictional force going this way so this is gonna be friction and we for this one it's gonna be a friction of uh static because or because it's um, it asks will prevent the sled, which means it wants the static friction, so it wants it to stay still. So static still, static still. So it's static. Okay, I'm sorry for trying to give you a binomic, but yeah, but that that might be a good monomic. Okay, so there's a friction there, and we have our force, of course, force that's going this way. And then, lastly, we have our normal force. And I'd like to call this force of, the force of normalness. Okay. All right. So let's figure out what our mass is. Well, it's 80 newtons. So since force, since, uh, since force equals mass times acceleration, force equals mass times acceleration, and since 80, is equal to mass times 9.8 being 9.8 being the gravity um, let's bring our TI-83 TI so 80 divided by 9.8 so 80 divided by 9.8 will be our mass so our mass is 1.663 so I'm gonna store this to alpha m m for mass so mass mass is around 8 kilograms 8 kilograms I roughly rounded this. Okay. All right. And since um, there's no other forces acting this way horizontally except for the gravity, um, we can assume that the normal force is equal to gravity. But if, if, if there were like a string or, or an aircraft pulling on this upward this way a little bit, even if a little bit, the normal force wouldn't equal gravity. But yeah, we can, we can for for this purposes we can say this is this is normal force. This is normal force. No, no, not gravity. The the weight of this this angle. Okay. All right. Now that we have our free body diagram, let's let's figure out how how much force that we need to. Um. Well, okay. Actually, this is wrong. The, since it, since this is trying to pull it down this way, the static friction is actually going against it, which means the static friction, which means the static friction is not this way, but actually upward. Yeah. So this is this is going to be static friction. Friction of staticiness. Okay. All right. Um, so what is our normal force? Our normal force is mg co well we have our mass so mg cosine 20 that's simple enough we just type it into the calculator so m because we just stored it to m 
times gravity, which is 9.8, times the cosine of 20. And we get 75 newtons. 75 newtons. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to store this to n for normal force. Where's n? L, M, N. Okay. So that's our normal force. And what is our fri frictional frictional thing? Well, we know we know that F S. Let me let me let me write it. Well, yeah, I, I'll just do it here. Never mind. So F S. We know it's getting a little crowded, but I'll just bear with it. So M, M, So it's it's getting a little crowded, but um, but excuse me for that. So F S is uh. We know that F S is mu of S times the normal force. And we know that the mu of s is 0.21 because that's a static static friction. So 0.21 times the normal force, which is 75. So I'm going to multiply this by 0.21. And we get, I didn't see that, so we get around roughly 16 newtons. I'm just rounding really roughly. You shouldn't round though, though until like at the very end. Um, okay, so let's let's figure out this one. This is gonna be this is gonna be mg sine twenty. Like I'm I'm figuring out this. I'm trying to figure out um, all the forces that act in like, act on this axis, so that I can figure out how much force I'm gonna need to make the to make this net force zero. And let's say okay. So let's see let's see what this force is. It's going to be, well, mass is mass, m, times gravity, which is 9.8, .8, times sine of 20. And we get 27, 27 newtons for this way. Okay, so we got 16 newtons going this way and 27 newtons going this way. So let me, let me actually write that right here. So, so, so it's in one position. Okay, I'm going to actually bring this down a little bit so that we get more space. Okay, that's better. Um, and we're still just trying to solve for A, so. So basically, okay, so let's say that this, the going down, well, going upwards is positive. So this way is positive. So this way is positive. This means that this means that 27 is negative. So, so, and we want our net force to be zero. So, which means our net force zero should equal to negative 27, because this is this force is going this way, and it's opposite of positive, so it should be negative. So, negative of 27 plus these two forces, a force plus 16. Okay, well let's solve for F. So F is is you add 27 and you subtract 16 from each side. So we get so we get um so we get around let's see, we get around so we add 27 and then you subtract 16 from each side and we so we get around eleven. So let's type that into our web assign and see if we get it right. Okay, let, let let me try using uh let me try using the real numbers. Um and that would be not the rounded answers but the real numbers. I think that would be t uh twenty twenty seven point three six one six minus fifteen point seven eight six eight and we get 11.57, so that's pretty drastic difference. So let's see if that changes anything. Okay, so now now it accepts my answer. So, uh, so don't so, I guess I, I was being a bad student by rounding in the middle of the question. So 11 point, 11 point, roughly 11.6 newtons. I'll just call it at that. And I'm gonna try not to round until the very end from now on. So that is that is A. Okay, let's look at B. So B 
says, what is the minimum magnitude of F that will start the sled moving up the plane? Okay. Well, this, um, for this one, we, we want to overcome, we want to overcome the, the static friction. So what, what does that mean? Well, we want our force upwards to be greater than the static. Well, okay, let me let me let me try something real quick before. Okay, all right, that didn't do anything. All right, so what is the minimum minimum magnitude f that will start the sled moving up the plane? Well, let's let's think about this for a little bit. So in this in part A. Um, we we wanted our um, downward force and the force of friction combined, and this this force equal to zero. But but in but in this problem, um, our frictional force is um, is turned opposite. So let me copy this down. Well, hang on. Let me. I want more space. So, so I'm gonna move this down a little bit more. I'm going to move this up a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to select this free body diagram. We, we just want the free body diagram. So I'm going to copy this down to here. So for this one, we want our, oops, we want our frictional force to be in the opposite direction because we're, we're moving, we're, mov we're trying to move it up now. So this is going to be this is going to be this way. This is going to be friction of S. And all of a sudden, this becomes negative because this way is positive. So now, we, we still want it to equal to zero. We still want the net force to equal to zero, but we just want the frictional force to be negative this time. So this, this is going to be negative 27 from this grav gravitational force minus the frictional force, which is, neg which is 16. And you add the fr the the white force, the, this force. Okay, so let's uh let's calculate that. So I'm gonna use the real numbers. So tw this is gonna be twenty seven point three six one seven because you add it to the side and you add sixteen, so that's gonna be plus sixteen point seven eight six eight. And these numbers are just uh the real numbers of these. I just rounded these two so that I can easily write it, but yeah. So I got 43.115. So 43.15. All right. So that is, so WebAssign says it's right. It's right. So F equals 43.15 Newtons. Boop, boop. Okay. Now it says, what value of f is required to move the block up the plane at constant velocity? Well, for this one, we have to bring in we have to bring in our our the friction, the kinetic friction instead of static friction, because kinetic friction is the is the one that actually deals with moving. So this is going to actually change into um, change into kinetic friction. And this is going to change into kinetic friction. It's going to be kinetic friction. And this is going to be kin kinetic friction as well. So this whole whole number is going to be different. Okay. So let's look at our um, let's look at our our kinetic friction. Well, it says kinetic friction is point one point one seven. So it's going to be point one seven times the normal force, which is What's our normal force? Our normal force is 75 newtons. So 75 newtons. So that's going to equal to it's going to be equal to 0.17 times the normal force, which I stored it into n, and it says it's 13, you know, roughly 13. And and since it's moving in a positive direction, um, the the friction is always opposite of the direction it's moving, so it's going to be negative. And we want we want it to be we want it to be zero. Um, we want the net force to be 
to be um, to be zero because acceleration is zero, which which means force, which means in force times mass times acceleration. If acceleration is zero, that means this side is zero, which means force is zero. So we want the for we want the net force to be zero. So we have, and this is negative because it's moving down. So it's negative twenty seven. Negative twenty seven times or a plus sorry, or minus sorry minus force of kinetic friction which is 13 um, plus F because F is moving that way F is moving in the positive direction so let's let's do that so I'm gonna use the real number except except beside real number instead of the rounded number which is 27.3616 so I added 27 to each side so we get 27 point and then we get we add 13 or whatever the real number was to each side and and we get and we get 40 is equal to force 40 newtons is equal to the force so let's type that into our web assign and it says it is correct so if you got it wrong, then please check your answer, or please check the numbers that um, you've used. You, you might have used my numbers instead of yours in some places. So just be mindful of that, and I hope, I, I hope this video helped you solve this problem.